There we go. Hey guys, welcome up. Welcome up. Welcome. I already messed up the intro. Anyways, um, I'm making this video. As you can see, I'm playing uh, Mutt uh, Head to Head Seasons. And this is the first time I decided to play Head to Head since I don't know how long ago when I was like 2 and 1. I think I recorded some of them and I recorded none of them. And that didn't make any sense. But I'm going to walk you through this one because I haven't done a commentary in a while and I also know I haven't been doing English very well either or either whichever one you want to say and I'm just gonna this is pre-recorded as you can tell because I mean if I'm talking this fast and this is going on I mean I would not be able to concentrate or focus at all go check my Metal Gear Solid series you can understand why I only scream no survivors because that's the only thing I can say without getting too flustered with the controls that's right I said it flustered flustered white man speaking words flustered so anyways after uh pausing to uh take my breath right there for a minute i was playing against this guy his name was um eddie gonzalez i don't know why people put their whole name as their gamer tag or their psn which is like i don't know it's freaky and i'm playing as uh as w corpse or the miami dolphins you know because they're my team whoop whoop Oh, disappointment and mediocrity for years to come. I am so happy. Of, well, prior years. It's been like 10 years since they had only one winning season. And right there, did you see that? That's one thing I hate about Madden, where you have three guys blocking one person and no one can do a damn thing about it. So, this is uh, the second possession of the game. I have the second possession after intercepting the ball from the Minnesota Vikings, uh, Eddie Gonzalez. <laughs> so weird. And I got upset here, you, you'll see, because it lagged a little bit, and you can't really tell there. And I ran into the defender, so I got really pissed off, and I guess I just I threw that interception out of spite. I did that out of spite. No, that's what happens when I get angry. I usually don't think, and I just do horrible decisions, such as that one that threw an interception and got returned for a touchdown. And uh, yes, I know this commentary is bad, but at least this is the most uh, you're ever going to hear me speak. Ever, if you go and see any of my other commentaries, I do not speak this much. Trust me, it's like I don't even pause right now. I'm not even pausing. I I'm gonna try to pause, and it's not gonna pause very well. Okay, it felt like I almost died there of not speaking, and so now I decided to play Madden again. I'm re I'm just going over what I just said over and over and over again. I don't know what I'm speaking anymore. I'm just I'm just trying to make this a little bit more entertaining because I kind of hate I hate watching Madden videos where there's nothing going on and it's like the gameplay and it's like cool, but then they put like Rihanna music in the background and to me it's like I don't, I don't get it. That was a that was a poorly thrown decision. I don't I guess on this play too it was fourth and nine. The only reason it was fourth and nine is because I got so stubborn and I ran it two times in a row. And then the third time was that hor horrible pass. But then for some reason I got my I got my what 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 my juices going, flowing, doing whatever. And I noticed this guy was just doing cover two most of the time and I was able to beat him on the outside a lot. And uh, that was a horrible decision. Shouldn't have thrown that ball, but I did. And no one intercepted it and I'm happy about that. And uh, tomorrow I'm not even gonna think about it. And and now it's third and one. And you're going to see what I do here is a quarterback sneak. And so I do it again on the next play, but I try to trick him by moving the fullback thinking, Oh, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run to the outside. I'm not tricked you. Ran up the gut. <laughs> you stupid. And so I say that a lot. I've noticed that right now. And so it's my eh, eh. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, so um, like, like, it's my like. There we go. And so is my like. Also... Op Optimus Grimes, he's a good cornerback. Problem is, he's way too small. Did you see that lag right there? Because it lagged. Optimus Prime, I bet you some of you guys are thinking I'm super annoying and stuff like that and you stopped watching. I'm totally fine with that because the majority of the people who, who even watch me are like five people, five little ants that somehow have a server in the ground to watch internet videos. And so, <laughs> uh, so I was playing... <laughs> Uh, I was playing this game, and I I don't understand how that's not intentional grounding because he threw it within the tackle box and it didn't even work out. Second and ten, and again, look at this. I have way too many short corners. I think the NFL needs taller cornerbacks like Tony Lippett, but 
I mean, what can you do, man? You gotta drink that milk. Or whatever is the equivalent to growth juice. Growth juice. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm confused. It's 10 to 7. I'm down. The only reason I'm down is because I threw an interception. I went back for a touchdown. 24 seconds left. I have the ball. What am I going to do? I'm going to do what I've been doing the entire game. Throwing it down right in between the cover two. And then I'm like, oh, I'm a clever little man. I'm going to throw it to the outside because he's going to do cover three or four. And, and I was right. I just threw a horrible pass. And then at this point, I really... This was like the most BS I've had in the game. I roll up to the, I roll out to the outside, and nothing, nothing's going on. I just, I just heaved it up there, and he caught it. Five seconds left. What do I do? Of course, I'm gonna run it. I risk losing a chance at a field goal just to gain two extra yards. That's the type of man I am. I'm a risk taker. You know, I, t I take the plastic bag over the paper. So it's ten to ten. Tied it right in at halftime. I get the ball in third quarter, and uh, as you saw earlier. I'm a very methodical man, you know, I take my time doing the plays, and if it takes me like 50 plays to move down the field, I'll do it, man, I'll do it, okay? I ain't afraid to, to do that stuff. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I lost thought, I started thinking about an episode of That 70s Show for some odd reason. I don't know why, don't ask me. I love that show, it's great, amazing. And, and uh, I started doing the same thing here. I just started running and running and running because he couldn't figure me out anymore. He stopped me in the first half and then once I started throwing on him, he just decided to stop my, stop trying to stop my run. Until like we got into the to the red zone, he got a little bit better at that. But I think it's because he started using cover 2 and for some odd reason, cover 2 seems to be like a little bit overpowered in the red zone. Also, if I'm throwing it to the flat and you're running after the catch, why do you stutter? Why? Why? So it's 10-10 still, 3rd and 4, I had a wide open guy right there who was square and I missed him and I ended up kicking a field goal here to go up 13-10. First lead of the game, keep that in mind. And so I kick it off to this guy, it's the 3rd quarter, it's gonna, well it's already gonna be the 4th quarter. I hit my mic and some of you guys are probably like, what the fuck, why is this guy talking so much? It's only a t like an 8 to 10 minute video. I have to talk. If not, I have to put some cheap music in the background that won't fit the whole entire video. You know how annoying that is from an editing standpoint? It's horrible. I've been there, man. I've been there. Also, go check out my Call of Duty videos. They're quite entertaining when it comes to musical output. Anywho... That's right, I said it. <laughs> it's it's fourth and eight. Here it is. Here it is. Fourth and eight. It comes down to this play really because if he makes it, he can continue the game. If he doesn't, it's it's most likely over. And he caught it out of bounds. Apparently, allegedly, he caught it out of bounds. He went to the pause screen. I'm thinking to probably challenge the play, and he quit. What type of man just goes out there and quits? I don't understand it. I don't get it. He had more than enough time and he didn't. While this happened, I was ecstatic and happy and all that stuff. And you know why I was happy about it? I'll let you in on a little sick because I got a trophy out of it. It was my fifth win in um, Madden Head to Head Seasons or Mutt, 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 Head to Head Seasons. I was trying to head to, uh, I, I'm, and so I got the trophy. And now I only need the other two where I get the, the bye week and I win the Super Bowl. So hopefully I get those. And I only need, I think, I only have four four games left to get that. So I just need to win three of the next four. Hopefully I record that for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you didn't, please don't leave a hateful comment. It's going to make me cry. It's going to make me cry. I'm going to be in the shower. Curled up in a ball in the corner, wondering, oh dear God, why? Why is everyone so mean? Why? And there it is. That's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll try and make more of these, hopefully, in the future. And uh, see you guys next time.